To storm track weather, we remain under an ABC 7 first alert for rain, but now we are tracking fog on Trans Mountain. Yeah, let's get our forecast now from our storm tracker, Sarah Coria, and for Doppler Dave Spielman tonight. And Sarah, it, those fog chances are going to stick around too. That's right. We're starting to see the fog kind of builds up. We are under a fog watch. Now that's going to kick off about 2 a.m., but also we are continuing to look at the moisture as it's sticking around. Here is a look at our tech stock camera. You can see a glimpse of it there. The fog kind of uh, blurring up the visibility in general. So if you are driving upper valley areas, be aware of that as you head out tonight. Of course, the fog does create some road hazards, so we want to keep you and your family safe. If you have any late night travel plans, of course, fog watch preparations. Dense fog is a road hazard, so turn on your low beam headlights. Drive slowly. Make sure to keep a safe distance from the car in front of you. Of course, roads are still slick, but also now we're adding to that low visibility because of the fog. So if you can consider delaying the travel. Now we do know this fog watch is in effect till about 10 a.m. tomorrow. So we're anticipating that fog to kind of work its way back in the morning. So if you couldn't delay your travel till after that, that might be a little safer to do so. But of course, if you have to travel, follow the those safety tips. I want to take you now to our Doppler radar. Of course, we're continuing to watch the moisture. It seems like most of the moisture for today has worked its way on eastward. You can see a current look at our Doppler radar shows that the moisture is working its way to the Sierra Blanca region. So El Paso already looking like we've seen the bulk of the moisture make its way on out of the area at least for now. Now I want to take you a little closer at the rainfall totals what we've seen over the past six hours. Now El Paso seeing about 0 0.07 of an inch of rain over the past six hours. Las Cruces is seeing a little bit stronger in some parts, 0.07 to 0.14 of an inch. So definitely accumulating some rainfall over the past few hours. Now I want to take you out to our future track short term model because as I mentioned, the rainfall is maybe working its way on out for now, but it's still going to stick around for the next few days. So looking at our short term model, this is anticipating a lot of again fog in the area. We're going to see the clouds move on through the area, but most of the moisture making its way on out not really anticipating any rainfall over the next few hours. So waking up tomorrow morning, it's looking like we are going to see a mostly dry day. Again, those rain chances are kind of working their way back for your Thursday, but they are sticking around over the next few days. So for your Thursday, your rain chances are looking at about a 20%. Your Friday, the rain chances increase to about 30. Then come your Saturday, we're looking at some stronger rain chances at about 50%. So if you thought you were out of the clear yet, we are not done. Again, the rain is still sticking around. It's going to taper back for your Thursday but still be present into your weekend. Now looking ahead for your temperature tomorrow, looking at 62 for your high El Paso and Las Cruces tomorrow, expecting a high of about 59. And heading into the holiday weekend, we are uh, getting prepared for the big holiday Monday, of course, Christmas, looking at 55 for El Paso, 52 for Las Cruces. Here's a look now at your seven day future track sponsored by matches from today is the first day of uh, tomorrow, excuse me, is the first official day of uh, winter. Now we have been feeling some cold temperatures, but tomorrow officially starting winter. We are going to keep those rain chances in our forecast by the time Christmas rolls around. It looks like they taper off. We'll be right back.